And right now we are returning to our coverage of what's happening in a Lexington County courtroom as it, it continues the investigation into Alec Murdoch. Attorneys tied to the Murdoch case appeared in court. News 2's Raymond Owens has the latest. One issue was related to Parker's gas station and the other issue is related to how Murdoch's defense attorneys will be paid during his appeal. Now the hearing lasted about three hours. Parker's gas station is facing a civil case along with Alec Murdoch after that boat crash in 2019 when Paul Murdoch was driving the boat drunk and it killed Mallory Beach. Murdoch, who was a minor, bought alcohol with his older brother Buster's ID. Lawyers for Parker's are asking the judge for a summary judgment in the case. They say their employee did check the ID and did not knowingly sell Murdoch alcohol as a minor. Lawyers for the victims told the judge the employee was not properly trained on how to correctly check an ID. Undisputed under statute and <clears throat> South Carolina common law that the transaction at Parker's in February 2019 was a valid and legal one. After a 10 minute break, lawyers for Alec Murdoch asked the judge to pay them $160,000 out of a receivership fund that was funded with Murdoch's retirement accounts. This would be to cover actual costs they estimate they will have to pursue Murdoch's appeal. There is at least $425,000 in that receivership. They say they're not asking for their attorney fees, just their actual costs. The receivership lawyer told the judge Murdoch agreed to the receivership and they want Murdoch to be lined up with any other creditors to determine who gets paid money from that receivership. But if you reward his theft today, you have just pushed him in the front of the line when he's already given me a judgment for my clients of 4.3 million plus accrued interest. Now, Judge Hall said he plans to announce his ruling by May 26th on the Parker's case, and he expects to have a ruling sometime in the next week on the attorney's fees. In Lexington County, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.